Hello, I'm Albert Putnam, uh, Symmetrics, and I'm giving a talk here on BACnet and the Internet of Things. Uh, Toby Constantine wrote a very nice automated building article, so I'm getting over the Internet of Things. And my apologies, Toby, I'm still not over the Internet of Things, and I'm going to give a talk here. So, the focus here is for BACnet users, uh, generally contractors, it could be manufacturers, it could be owners, but really this is focused on uh, the needs of the system managers, the needs of the facility managers. And in general, there's, it's a harsh world, there's darkness and despair, snowstorms recently here in Boston, and you want to try and avoid that, the system manager craves stability and reliability from their system and from their overall work life. Secondarily, you get into optimization efficiency. After things are reasonably calm, then you're looking for how to make things better, to make the best of what's given, maximize ROI, get the best outputs for the inputs that you actually have. And there's an optimization tribe that we all hear about, quality, economy, and speed. You're trying to get the best that you can possibly get. And any offer strives to the following, including the management of things opportunity, and that's to deliver stability and reliability and better output for the inputs in ROI. And the ecosystem of connected things has a similar goal to BACnet in this area. We're going to talk about the Internet of Things. There are two parts to the Internet of Things. There's an old definition of inventory tracking for RFID. You can see it in this graph. It's very nice. It's an old graph. Very nicely presenting uh, the progress of the Internet of Things. And now we're talking more about smart connected devices, although there's still stuff about inventory tracking and how knowing where things are. Uh, is a very important part of the characteristic of those things. IoT, your Internet of Things, has platform components. The things that you want in the characteristics you want out of box user experiment, experience, there are all these things. This is a graph from Alan Messer of Samsung that presented sort of all of the characteristics and all the things that people are working on in the Internet of Things. And there's much focus these days on privacy, security, and manageability and a quest for interoperability. Interoperability. And that's a thing that we hear a lot about in BACnet. In BACnet, we have really a model of a lingua franca for a thing's environment. We've got a good model, good defaults. It's simple. It's extensible. We also have the use cases being focused on reliability and optimization. BACnet is ahead in this way. It's ahead of many other areas and has many of these problems already solved. And also, BACnet can learn from IoT because IoT has many things, given its buzz, moving forward along these areas. IoT has social and behavioral strategies uh, for implementing its infrastructure. It's got wireless background, a lot of stuff done wirelessly with the Internet of Things. RFIT and location tracking infrastructure can be brought to bear on BACnet to find the location and fill in the location area of BACnet devices and BACnet objects. Energy harvesting and alternative energy sources are much under discussion in the Internet of Things and have long been problems or things that need discussion in building automation. Low cost dumb sensor applicability. There tend to be controllers in BACnet, but people are making hay with the idea in the Internet of Things that small sensors can be very intelligent and can feed data to intermediate sensors and feed data up to larger cloud enabling services. And there are models of simplicity in the Internet of Things to make things just good enough that BACnet can learn things from and borrow from in order to have uh, a reasonable sort of infrastructure. And essentially, that's my entire talk bringing the use case for facility managers, private liability optimization, to the idea of what the Internet of Things is, and then looking at the way that BACnet has features of the Internet of Things and the way that BACnet can borrow from the Internet of Things to get new features. I hope that uh, you'll hold in your mind something about the interconnectedness for systems managers of the BACnet and Internet of Things world. Thank you very much.